All right, you wait for Super Cup time. What an event to be part of. This is exciting. Wait, where's the Super Cup this year? Paris, Rome, Monaco, Southampton? Why is it in friggin' Southampton? Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome back to Queen of the South. It's season 11, episode 1 today, and, well, we've got a UEFA Super Cup at the exotic venue of St. Mary Stadium in Southampton. What a rip-off we've had there. Uh, so that's to come, and we also start the season, of course, uh, the, the league season, and that is going to be uh, against Rangers, and uh, that is away from home as well. Now, as ever with the new season, let's have a look at where we stand as a club. Uh, you can see here that I am amongst the legends of the team, but not a big enough legend apparently to have a stadium named after me but uh, other players because that's what really matters we've got two favorite personnel in Ayrton and Walker but no one else I mean considering and I'm sure these are uh, illustrious names in the history of Queen of the South you know your Stephen Dobbies your Jim Thompson your Alan Balls your Jim Pattersons I don't remember them ever winning a European Cup so I think we're being ripped off a little bit there. But anyway, uh, we are a professional four, no, well, not quite four, three and a half star rated team. Uh, Walker continues to be captain. A change of vice captain this season. Johnny Angus is the vice captain. Ayrton is our keen player. And Klee, who we picked up uh, right at the end of yesterday's transfer special, is the hot prospect at the club just now. So that is all very, very exciting. And if you did miss it uh, last episode, there is a new stadium on its way the Allen Ball Stadium. I cannot believe it. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be replacing Palmerston Park in the next few years. And uh, the other thing we have to catch you up on very quickly here is the goal that you voted as goal of the season last season. Now at the time of uh, of recording, this is it. So it's against St Johnston. It's February eighth. It's freezing. The ball comes in from Euros Ert and goes in from nowhere. And that is a pretty magical strike. But well, let's have a look at the uh, the odds here for the Premiership season. And for the first time, I think, that I can remember anyway, we are favourites to win the league. Ross County, of course, with their tycoon owner, is, uh, is second. Then we've got Celtic and Rangers. Now, Rangers, you'll see here, Paul Lambert is their new manager. Uh, Aston Villa legend, of course. But, he's, I mean, he's had a weird managerial career, hasn't he? It was all on the up, and then he went to Villa, and it just all... You got Randy Learned, I think, there. But anyway, we'll see how he gets on as uh, as Rangers manager. And you can see everybody there. The two promoted teams, Hamilton and Dundee, with Livingston, very heavy favourites to go down. Team of the season, we've got a few players in there. Bursic in goal, Ayrton and Bukiano, Stanich, who, of course, is on loan this season for Man United. Almarez and Mihai are in there as well. And if we have a look here at the best players in there, or the key players in the league, Ayrton is top. Giovanni Bukiano is up there as well. And we can see everybody else there. Uh, this is a new name for me from Ross County. Who's that? A 29-year-old Cameroon defender. I don't think we're going to worry too much about him. And uh, let's see, he's good from a set piece. And we can see there everybody else. And no names of former players that I can recognize there. So I think we might as well get this season underway. We're off to Ibrox to face Paul Lambert, of course. There are the opening day fixtures, and this is what we're expecting from them. It is a 4-2-3-1 formation, and the team that we're sending out, it is Bursic in goal. It is, we'll see up there. You can see it from preseason, a few heavy match loads, but it should be okay. So Bursic in goal. Rojas will make his debut at left back, of course. Interesting summer with left back, but uh, we'll see how he gets on. Bukiano, Walker, and Ayrton will be the rest of the back four. It is Mashagi and Almarez in midfield. It is our new Bulgarian winger, Makriev, uh, starting with Torres making his debut as the number 10, and Arvik on the left side there. Angus will go up top. A bench, uh, we have Campo, who could make it debut on loan for Man United, of course. Uh, we've got Emma Russo, Mihai Bayless, Stanich, who could make his debut as well. Another on loan for Man United. And Salino is there. Uh, injuries to start the year. Muros, of course, our left back is out for about a month. Bermudez is out five to eight months. He has uh, done his ACL. And Bowl is the reason that uh, Torres is starting, because he's got a little bit of an injury. And opening game of the season, we're not going to start risking players. So he's, uh, he's going to miss this one as well. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. It is our third competitive game in a row against Rangers because we played them in the last game of last uh, league, the league season. We, the uh, Europa League final, of course, and now the first game this season. Uh, so there's a, quite a few familiar names in there. Rian Brewster is getting the start for them. Uh, Deli Bashu. Now, we had him at, uh, at Sheffield Wednesday, I think. So there's a few familiar names there. Uh, I think go out there and impress me. Almarez, as a reminder, is a little bit unhappy. Uh, because we didn't let him go to PSG. I can't imagine why you'd be unhappy about that. 
uh, his bank account if uh, for nothing else. But uh, yeah, so we'll just kind of see how we go. We got a few players leaving that I didn't want in Santos and Hansen. Hopefully, we've done a good job of replacing them. Now, Makriev has uh, bruised his ankle in the early exchanges here, so that's not ideal. But here we go, Rojas, our first vision of him. Torres, cross comes in. Makriev, oh, it's almost three of the new boys linking up there. Ayrton, cross comes in towards Johnny Angus. Again, it's away. And let's see what becomes of this. Now, Deli Bashiru, he's not real. I mean, he was okay at Sheffield Wednesday, but you wouldn't think. 10 years on, I mean, maybe he just develops really well, but that surprises me. He's there. Makriev, is he going to get a debut goal? Yeah, a debut goal. Yes, he is. There we go. It didn't took him uh, nine minutes to get his name on the score sheet for Queen of the South. And, well, that looks very confident for him, didn't it? Bukiano to Almarez, Almarez to Arvik, Angus. It's a nice goal, isn't it? Takes a touch as well. Goalkeeper helpless. Hopeless and helpless. It's 1-0. And that is the sort of start we were looking for. We did claim some scalps in pre-season. I've got to be honest. You know, we beat Barcelona at, in Barcelona. Um, a couple of other good results there as well. And, I mean, friendly results, obviously. Always taken with a pinch of salt. But you'd rather beat them than not. Makriev could be in again here. Now, is he going to be able to pull the ball back? He's got a long way. It's bouncing out. Alvarez can't miss. And, well, we are destroying Rangers on their own patch here. 15 minutes gone, slightly more, and it's 2-0. And, well, this is the sort of season I think what we need to do is, is build on last season. Ideally, ideally we wouldn't have lost Hansen and Santos, but I think we've done a decent job in replacing them. Um, we're relying on... Well, we're, we're kind of relying on two things at left back. We need... Roe has to actually step up, you know, hit the ground running. And then we need Muros to to develop and play, you know, as Hansen did. But Hansen wasn't always the most consistent. And he wasn't, oh, that's horrid. And he wasn't always the best defensively. So we'll just have to see Bucciano with a big block. And we've got ourselves a free kick there as well. Let's maybe just go back off of attacking. But I think what we need to is for Bukiano this year. Now, he does speak English now, which in theory will help improve his performances. He'll be able to talk to those around him. We need him to have the sort of year you'd expect from a £40 million centre-back. Uh, Dundee United winning the battle of the newly promoted sides. And is that going to be half-time? It looks... Oh, no, not quite. We're in first half stoppage time. Arvik with the ball at his feet. Back to Rojas. Crossing towards Makriev. Oh, and he almost had himself a second there. And let's see the clock running down. That should be half time now. It is. But a very, very comfortable 2-0 lead. But of course, 2-0 can change very quickly, can't it? So let's tell them uh, don't get complacent here. Keep those performance levels up. And what we will in all likelihood try and do in this second half is uh, get some players off the bench particularly uh Stenich I'd like to I'd like to get his debut out of the way if possible now we have Motherwell in the league in between this game and the Chelsea Super Cup this is more or less the team I'd like to play in the Super Cup uh just bringing bowl in for Torres so uh we will probably rotate for the Motherwell game Arvik not having a great game. Let's get Stanich on. He can play on that left-hand side and see what he can do out there. And, well, second half has not been a classic. A little bit like the uh, UEFA, UEFA, UEFA League. How old am I? Europa League final. 4-2 in the battle of the promoted sides. That uh, doesn't bode well for either defense moving forward, does it? And I think we'll just let this play out now. They switch to a 4-4-2. Paul Lambert has, uh, in his first game as Rangers boss, been thoroughly beaten. And it was two first-half goals from Makriev and Almarez. But, it, I mean, Makriev basically assisted the Almarez goal, didn't he, as well? So, well done. That's a good win. And uh, we'll move on from there.
I think the best thing about that performance in a way as well is that we did look rather defensively solid. Just that one moment with the Bucciano block really, wasn't it? But you can see the other opening game results there. Ross County out of the gates this season in order with a bang. But we turned dominance into victory against Rangers. Uh, Villain wouldn't send team out to hurt our position. That is absolutely right. Makrayev with his bruised ankle is fine. Uh, we've got one of our youngsters out on loan. This is one of our promising strikers, so we'll see how he gets on at our growth this season. And that is it. Premiership season kicks off. I am going to go and play Motherwell, and then I'll see you for the UEFA Super Cup. Okay, welcome back. We are getting ready to go to Southampton for the freaking Super Cup. Why does St. Mary's even have it? I mean, honestly. Anyway, uh, Almarez is... It's a ongoing situation let's say we're uh, midway through august and he still wants to join psg i'm not going to give up as i said i think was it last sum up we're not selling players anymore because i think like we're good enough to try and keep them we don't need to sell players we want to try and build the squad if it's going to get to a situation where almarez just isn't playing well then it might it might come to a head and we just need to get rid of him but Let's just hope that, that that doesn't come to that. But yeah, that's slightly concerning. The one thing I did just want to quickly show you was just an example of the issue that we're still having trying to sign players. So meet Abel De Stefano, Cardiff City's new striker. Now we had agreed a transfer fee with, uh, where did he come from? From uh, Studientes. We had negotiated a contract with him. 145 grand a week. Cardiff gave him. Now, Cardiff was 16th in the Premiership last season, uh, English Premier League, I should say, and they can offer that much money. We obviously cannot. That is a about a quarter of our wage budget for everybody. So, I mean, he would have been a very, very good striker for us. Finishing first touch, composure, off the ball movement. He had everything that we would want. And, I mean, we can't, we just literally cannot compete with, uh, you know, a Premier League team that's going to go in probably double if not more more than double what we were able to offer him so yeah that is, those are, these are the problems that we have we find good players and we just can't compete with that and it's realistic isn't it we, we just cannot compete with our premier league teams and we're interested in the same sort of players as them so yeah that's the, that's the issues that we're having he would have been a nice striker to get in though wouldn't he all right there's one game to catch you up on it was at the second game of the premiership season it was against motherwell let's see how we did we took an early lead when anton picked out Salino. And ball cross for Stanich to get our second. So this was a very comfortable win for us. What we didn't have is the finishing, but you can see we changed up the formation. We changed up some of the players as well, but not too many. And yeah, it was it was utter domination, which is excellent. So a quick look at how that has affected the league table. And we will see it's ourselves, Celtic and Dundee United, who are two from two and uh, everybody else there, as uh, as you can see. But Super Cup time against Chelsea. So we are expecting a little bit like the Rangers game, a 4-2-3-1 formation from them. And this is the team we're sending out. It is what I think is our strongest team right now. Uh, maybe with the exception of one or two potentially. But Bursic in goal, Rojas, Bukiano, Walker and Ayrton as the back four. Mashaki and Almarez in midfield. Uh, Makriev, Bowl, and Arvik in behind Johnny Yangus. And uh, we're going to have a go at them. I just want to see exactly you know where we stand in a competitive game. Friendly-wise, we were doing quite well. Uh, now, the issue with the bench is that some players who were lacking match sharpness have played on the same day. So we've got an extended bench, and there's a few players that ideally I'd have on there. Uh, but I think long-term, we're probably better off, aren't we, having them... Uh, with a bit of match sharpness playing on the 21 game than on the bench for this. Uh, you can see there, though, Almarez, unhappy transfer was blocked, and we'll see what sort of performance we get out of him. Oops, forgot to turn the camera back on after the Motherwell highlight. Sorry about that, but I'm back now. Uh, now we can see the team sheet here. It is, uh, I mean, I recognize all of those names, so that's problems. Um, now, this guy down the bottom here, he, uh, he actually was on loan at Ross County, last season and this jeep paradox guy we actually tried to sign him and he went to celtic instead so a little bit of history with a few of these players as well but um let's not worry about that now i think no one expects us to get a result here there's no pressure on us so let's uh let's say that almarez still looking unsure now i mean if this is the way we're going to play throughout the season then we you know we could do with, with with losing him because Mihai could just come straight in and we wouldn't lose too much and then we would need to go and find ourselves another midfielder. Now there is maybe an argument to say we need another midfielder anyway. Um, 
yeah, I mean, Thomas Bowl can fill back in there if we're going to play with Mazellas. Uh, the new guy, Torres, can play back in there as well. So we're not desperately in need of them, but I do wonder a little bit if if maybe, well, especially if Almarez is going to leave, then we would need to get somebody in. Looks as though we're going to have a free kick here for Chelsea. Tielemans stands over it. Is Bursic equal to this? No, he's not, is the short answer. And early on, we find ourselves 1-0 down to Chelsea in the Super Cup. I mean, not too much we could do about it, is it? It's maybe an extra man on the wall would have been would have been a sensible thing, or Bursic standing a little bit closer over there. But anyway, that uh, that has already happened now, so there's no point worrying about it. And unfortunately, we've not really created to Bursic. Is it, is it the crossbar? Now, here we go with Makrayev. Here's a chance. Can he get them on the break? Oh, they've brought him down. Yellow card, ref. Yellow card. All right, no yellow card. That's surely a yellow card. Uh, we do have uh, tactical things we can change here as well, of course. Uh, right now, we, we're trying to run at the defense because Bol, Arvik, and, uh, and Makrayev are all very, very good dribblers. So I thought if we ran at them, then maybe that would work for us. Walker gets back. Still not clear, though. And, well, Chelsea look quite good, don't they? So, let's uh, let's get rid of all of that. Um, yeah, I mean, that was fairly decent from them, really. We, they're just constant pressure, and the Kai have its finish. There's nothing Bursley can do about that. So, yeah, it's maybe just a little bit of a case of we're not quite as good as I was hoping we are here. Um, I wonder if we try raising the tempo and exploiting the wings. We'll try that. It's, it's just finding that balance, isn't it? We have some really good attacking players. But the issue, of course, is that that's no good to us if we're conceding at the other end. Maybe the, the team talk, maybe we need to be a little bit more ambitious with the team talk. Uh, the no pressure, maybe, maybe hasn't quite worked for us. So we settled down a little bit at 2-0. I'm going to say, I'm just, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, show me something different second half. Let's pump our fists. We've got faith in you all. And... We'll give it a little bit of time here. You know what we might do? Let's take Johnny Angus off. I want to try Stanich because he's got that really good uh, physical presence, tall and all that kind of stuff. So let's try that and let's try hitting in some early crosses in towards him. And let's see if that maybe works for us. Uh, the issue potentially is Arvik isn't the greatest crosser of a ball. Makrayev's playing well. I mean, he's that's been a very promising start to the season for him. Uh, all right, so this is not quite going to plan. Let's try changing the tactic then. Okay, so we're changing the tactic. We're making two changes. Uh, Selino comes on, as does Mihai. Makrayev and, and Arvik off. Makrayev doesn't deserve to go off. It's just he doesn't quite fit in this formation. So this it's just kind of a bit of a, a tough luck story. Let's try a demand more. And I mean, it's it's kind of what it's been against Chelsea in the past, isn't it? 2-0. We've had, we've had our chances. But yeah, just not being quite able to take them. But I mean, this is the, this is the Champions League champions. There's a good ball for Salino. I think he's on side, but the finish is just non-existent. We might need to do a little bit of chance conversion training. It's always the issue early on in the season that can happen. I try and get us defensively solid and, and from set pieces and stuff. Bowl is looking quite tied. I don't know. Do I have another sub? Yeah, we used up all our subs. 
Uh, they've got some black jersey, some blue jersey, so that's surely a, a UEFA code violation. Not quite sure what's happened there, but anyway, Walker on the board. Looks forward for Ayrton. Wins it down for Stanich for Salino. Can we make an interest? Oh, that is a red card. It's outside the box. I don't think it's a penalty. It's right. I think it's outside the area, but it should be. I mean, it's going to be. A, we'd rather have the player on the field, I think, and the and uh, the penalty. Oh, it is a penalty. All right. So who takes this? It is Salino who was fouled. Can we make this interesting in stoppage time? Salino. Oh. <laughs> uh, we scored the penalties that matter in Europe last season. So it finishes 2-0. Oh, having a look at goal dueling technology, are we? I mean, it, it clearly did not go in. So now it finishes 2-0. And, well, Chelsea won it. We, we can hold our heads high a little bit. There was the free kick. I mean, arguably, we got outplayed to concede the free kick, but th th that was a little bit unlucky. It was not like we got picked apart from open play. The second goal, yes, we did get picked apart from open play, but it was also sort of a bit of second phase defending after we cleared it off the line. But another day, that could have been a little bit closer, but Chelsea, I think, were just a little bit too good, weren't they? Uh, so what do we say to that? We didn't get the result. We created chances. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> XG wise, and I know it's a flawed stat, we had a penalty, but I think we did out XG them. So Chelsea lift the Super Cup. I mean, as I said, it's always difficult for the uh, Europa League winner to go and uh, and win that. But we've got three million out of it. That's uh, that's better than a kick in the backside, isn't it? So, yeah, there we go. That is that. And in terms of the finances, 60 million in the bank, 63 million in the transfer budget. So we have room to go in about um, three weeks, two and a half, three weeks left in the transfer window as well. Uh, but there we go. That will do it for today. Now, I think what we'll do, we'll come back for the Champions League draw and the, the first game of the Champions League, which is usually around this uh, September time, isn't it? So we'll, uh, unless there's a potential uh, deadline day coming up that might be interesting, I think what we'll do is we'll come back for that Champions League draw, first game in the Champions League, and whatever league game kind of falls around that as well. But if you enjoyed that, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and if you haven't seen the uh, Haas Formula One Manager uh, series yet, go and check it out. A lot of fun.